Hey guys, welcome back to Vampire Folklore. We are really diving into Vampire Diaries at the minute. I must admit, it's nice to revisit the series to do a couple of videos on a couple of topics. Does anyone remember in Season 2, Episode 1, where Damon just goes completely dark and snaps Jeremy's neck right in front of Elena? What am I saying? Of course you all remember that moment. It's one of the biggest moments of the entire series. It was the beginning of what I like to call the Damon Salvatore, I've just gone dark trend which is basically where Damon slowly and organically begins to fit in with the group, he bonds with his brother, he creates a friendship with Elena, he helps out, he's acting cool, he's getting on with everybody, he's one of the gang, he is likeable. Then he puts himself in a vulnerable situation, a vulnerable position, hoping for a positive outcome, he gets hurt instead, feels completely rejected and he acts out in an unforgivable manner in order to alienate himself from the people he's begun to care about in order to justify why he doesn't deserve any happiness whatsoever. That's really all Damon is about if I'm honest, a constant battle with himself, with one half telling him he does deserve happiness, but the darker demon hovering over him telling him no, you don't. Don't forget season 1 started out with Damon being the antagonist and we're all like ah I hate Damon, he's an asshole, boo. And then he grows into the group, we see his pain and it's like he's not so bad. Anyway, jumping into Season 2, Episode 1, he goes right back to villain status when he commits the unthinkable act of killing Jeremy. What the hell happened? Why did he do this? And is it possible to discover whether he really knew if Jeremy was wearing the ring? Poor Damon is always getting his little feelings hurt and the writers of Season 2 decided to break his heart not once, but twice. In the same day. In the same episode. So Damon spent almost a century and a half believing that Catherine, the love of his life, was trapped in the tomb with the other vampires only to discover that she was never really in the tomb all along and was off living her best life, not giving a crap about Damon or Stefan. Anna delivers that stinger of a line. You knew where you were, Damon. She didn't care. I have to give it to Ian Somerhalder here. He really excellently conveys what we're all thinking watching this scene. Anyway, Damon gets back home and he finds Catherine waiting on the couch. She says she's here to say goodbye, but Damon knows her well enough to know she wants something and she's not leaving before she gets what she wants. However, Damon doesn't know what she wants. He's still trying to figure it out. Catherine being Catherine tries to seduce him and they end up kissing. He stops just to ask her if she ever truly loved him and if she did, that they can forget everything and start over. But Catherine tells him it was a lie. She never loved him. And it was always Stefan before leaving, knowing she has just destroyed whatever little love and compassion Damon had left in his heart. So he goes and drowns his sorrows in the traditional Damon fashion, a hell of a lot of bourbon, and then thinks it's a good idea to show up at Elena's home. He's at an extremely low point here, and he's feeling very vulnerable, and he wants to explore the last avenue of what he believes is his way of finding true love, putting himself in an even more vulnerable position. He tries to prove to Elena that she feels something for him, but she is in denial. He kisses her against her will and Elena pushes him back, telling him that well, she does indeed care about him, she loves Stefan and it will always be Stefan. That's the second time he's heard that in a day, which in turn sends him into defensive, shut off, self-destruct mode and in walks Jeremy at the worst imaginable time to defend his sister. Damon, even more hurt, turns to Jeremy with a very clouded look on his face. He remembers that Jeremy wanted to be a vampire, and knowing that he has Anna's blood in his system, he snaps his neck and leaves, leaving Elena behind crying over Jeremy's body. Elena notices that Jeremy was wearing his supernatural ring and knows at least he won't die. However, whether it's as a human or a vampire is unknown. So what the hell was Damon thinking? Did he actually see the ring on Jeremy's hand? Personally guys, I don't believe he did and it's hard to discover what Damon was thinking because he, in actual fact, he wasn't thinking at all. Any sort of rational thought does not exist when Damon slips into this self-destruct mindset. He's just lost Catherine, he's now lost Elena, he's hurt, he's embarrassed and what's worse is Elena feels sorry for him and he knows that. If there's one thing, Damon Salvatore cannot stand, it's someone pitying him, so what's his substitute for pity? It's hatred of course, and it works a treat for him. Elena is more shocked that Damon would do something that he knew would hurt her, 
as he was really beginning to redeem himself with everyone. Damon's comfort was proving everyone right, that way he had nobody left to disappoint. As I mentioned, Damon's biggest battle is with himself and by hurting basically everyone with his actions, he reaffirms to himself that he deserves to be in the situation he's in. Now, here's my curveball guys, here's where I think, well, did he leave himself a way back? He killed Jeremy. He didn't see the ring, well, I don't think he did anyway. However, he knows how much Jeremy wanted to be a vampire. He knows he had vampire blood in his system. By breaking the boy's neck, he pushed Jeremy over the I really want this but I'm afraid to go through with it invisible line. He knows that he was actually giving Jeremy a gift and now after all the dust settles, Jeremy would have the ability to switch off his humanity and his emotions and finally live without being in pain. Stefan blames the whole thing on Catherine, stating that she has toyed with his mind for so many years but look, if I can simplify the situation, Jeremy was in the wrong place at the wrong time while Damon was too emotionally and mentally unstable as he's triggered far too easily at the slightest sign of any sort of rejection. It could have been anyone who walked in. It could have been Bonnie, then what would have happened? Or maybe even Matt Donovan. Actually if it was Matt then it was very likely that he would have at least been fed on. That guy is just a whipping boy of the Vampire Diaries. It's okay Matt, not many people like you. You know something guys, the awful truth of this matter is that Damon's humanity died a long long time ago. It's only resurrected when he's around Elena and as soon as something goes wrong, then he doesn't need to flip a switch. It may as well have been off the whole time. There is an interesting dynamic that develops between Damon and Jeremy. If Damon truly knew that Jeremy had the ring on, then what a brutal, horrible act of flexing your muscle and power to hurt someone that you love. It takes him time to realise that Jeremy quickly becomes a very important person to him because he's Elena's younger brother. And what he must do to protect her, he will also have to do to protect him. If Jeremy didn't actually have the ring on, then we would have gotten a vampire Jeremy and that's something I don't think Elena would have come back from. Although Jeremy would live, his human life was taken away by a man who claims to love his sister more than life itself. When Jeremy did come around, he had one thing on his mind however, vengeance. He threatens to expose Damon's true nature to the town, but Damon warns him that if he does, it'll take a lot more than a ring to save him from what he'll have in store for the boy before acting, like he didn't seem worried in the slightest and he walks off. He later visits Damon at the boarding house intending on killing him. He spiked his alcohol with Vervain in order to weaken him and eventually drive a wooden stake through his heart. However, he eventually doesn't go through with the plan, although Jeremy referred to him as a dick when Damon was attempting to be like a big brother to him, but they eventually found some common ground together, finding out that Damon's father as well as Jeremy's father both hated vampires. There you have it everyone, that is today's video on if Damon really knew whether Jeremy had the ring on or not. What do you all think? Yes? No, I would very much like to hear your opinions in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a like as it really does help the video grow. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And only if you want to join the Vampire Folklore family, click that lovely subscribe button, turn all your notifications on and you will never miss another upload. Thanks again guys and I'll see you all for the next video.